Hello everyone and welcome to the Unreal Engine 4 tutorials is on how to make a third person shooter gun system. This video is for those people who are using a skeletal mesh and having the simulation problems. So when they simulate their physics for the skeletal mesh, they have some warnings like yeah, my simulation physics has no collisions, that's why it is not setting properly. Uh, so what you can do, uh, first solution is if you are a good artist, then your skeletal meshes like this. I have the static meshes, but if you have a skeletal mesh, then you have a physics asset, uh, this one. So you have something called this one, like physics asset, which looks similar to any skeletal mesh. And you have to set this all to something in here called physics table default to kinematic or simulated I, I don't know because I, I literally don't know how to set it but if you are a good artist you will probably know how to set it uh, now for those people who don't know how to set it like me uh, if you can't make something simulate you can code something that looks like it is simulating and we are gonna do that here uh, so as you can see uh, these are my static meshes uh, don't worry, the skeletal meshes will work fine with this. Uh, if you, if I pick the third one, my this one would be simulation. We gonna code this one also. So open your weapon, mass weapon. This one. If you are using a skeletal meshes, uh, we don't need this. I will simply remove. Okay. Uh, if you are using a skeletal meshes, you are component hierarchy will look something like this first is a default scene root then a skeletal mesh where I have static and these two components and we have these uh, set weapon state function which uh, looks something I don't need this which looks something similar to this. the three states drop equipped and hand and in hand and equipped there are only no simulations in the drop part because we need to change this one so in the drop part, we have the collision profile name and the collision profile name for both uh, skeletal mesh. Make sure it is skeletal for your skeletal mesh. And then we are simulating a physics. Let's say for some reason your physics assets is not so good that your simulation work. What you can do instead, uh, just break out. We don't need this. Uh, what you can do instead on this. Uh, if you don't code anything simulate it will work something like this your guns will stay in the air so as you can see my guns are staying in the air we don't need that we want to make this so it touches the ground so in the event graph make sure you are in the event graph because delegate only works in the event graph uh, let's room, make some room here and in here let's make a custom event we are going to code call this a simulation. Okay. So what we will do. So we are going to take the skeletal meshes. For the skeletal meshes user this would be a skeletal meshes. We are going to take the this weapon actors location. The world location. And we are going to check the bottom of it. So where it is touched. And that point should where our uh, gun should go. So we will do a line trace by channel. The starting point would be your get actor location. Get actor location, yes. Uh, and the target would be self. So I want to get the current location where it was. Uh, the ending point would be uh, break this vector the ending point would be the ma z of it so as you can see x and y axis are the same z axis this one this you can see this gizmo is up and down we want the bottom of it so let's do a line trace from starting point to our actor location and ending point to right click so you can break this out you can split we don't need this x and y the z is 
a bottom of something so let's multiply this with some value so that we can touch our ground so let's say minus 50 so it will line trace from your starting point to the bottom of the ground and from the break hit results we are going to get a location of where is the ground position and we want to move our actor to that so move component 2 as you can see this is a node you cannot call out this node in a function this is why we have made a event and this location would go in here and yes and let's just call out this function simulation this simulation is this event okay now move component to we have to provide a component of which component we want to move so we want to move this default scene root component so everything under this will also move so get this default scene and attach it to here now if you play it will work same as before as you can see which looks yeah we are simulating but uh, also you can see the guns are not at the best position at is it should get okay so let's make this to 90 degree because from forward it is 90 degree so x to 90 it's just try and error method let's check it out this one okay one two three okay so as you can see now it is simulating at this position but now there is another problem it somewhat inside the ground right we don't need that so we just want what we want to do we just want to set this location somewhat upward so let's hit a plus vector and this would go in here now let's make some room here okay so what we want to add in the z order we want to add three pixels okay let's check it out three is the correct position or not okay okay i think three is fine so as you can see now i can simulate this so if you don't need the simulation you can do this function also okay all right so this is over it now so thank you so much guys for watching and bye bye <laughs>